Hey guys, so in the last video I did, I couldn't find the exact animations I imagined, so I animated the character myself. If you didn't know, there's a site called Mixamo, where you can download characters and animations basically for free and use them in your projects. This is an awesome tool for prototyping your games and learn how to work with animations in your project. But in this case, I needed something more specific. So I just downloaded the basic character mesh, which is rigged, which helps a lot in this case. So when you download your character, import it into Maya. And when we select the wireframe mesh, we can see the skeleton it comes with. This is a great help, because in any other case, we would need to create the skeleton or rig by ourselves. Ok, now I'll put the mesh of the character in a separate layer, so I can see the bones by themselves. Next, in the drop down in the upper left corner, select the rigging option so we can see the rigging menu. Now go into skeleton and select human IK. This is when Maya comes in really handy and gives us option to create a skeleton and a control rig. But in this case we only need a control rig. Now click define and now we have this little menu on the right side. And now we only need to assign the correct bones to the corresponding fields on the character. Once we have done that, click the first among the two stick men in the upper menu. If you click the wrong one, don't worry, this is how you delete it. And now you can see we get these little circles around our character. This is the control rig. It makes animating characters much easier. You can see that with this Maya configured the IK and the bones of the character. Now let's make him do a little squat. At the bottom you can see the animation timeline and everything is measured in frames. Now I'm not very experienced with this so if I make any mistakes please comment down below so that others won't. First we set the initial character pose and then on the timeline we select the zero frame and while the control rig is selected we click S. That will keyframe our character for the zero frame. Now move to frame 30 for example and create a new character pose. and then again click S. For the final keyframe, go to the zero frame and right click copy, and then go to the 60th frame and then paste. This will make our animation loop nicely. Now I just changed the animation playback to 60 frames, so the full animation is 120 frames. Finally, export this as an FBX export, and in the export settings, find the bake animation menu and check bake animation and input the start and the end frame we want to export. In this case, this is the 0 and the 120th frame. And we're done. I just wanted to make this simple tutorial since I didn't get to make it in my last video. There are of course animators that can do this much better. But if you liked my explanation, please consider subscribing and supporting me on my Patreon. Thank you and see you next time.